In this tutorial, I'm going to briefly explain how to generate your reports uh, for your various events. Okay, let's begin. The first item we want to click on is permission slip, then permission slip. You'll notice that we have four previous events that we have created here. And in a previous video, we registered a child for the Tour of the White House event. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Tour of the White House event. And you'll notice that we have a tab up at the top called View Bookings. And you'll notice that there is actually one person who has registered for this particular event. And all the information that we entered for this particular child is listed here on this page. Now, what we'd like to do um, to, de to demonstrate that you can actually print up a roster detail list for everybody here. Uh, basically, all you need to do is click the generate roster detail list. And what this is going to do is going to actually create a PDF file for every individual that, re that is registered for this particular event. Now, in this case, there's only one person registered. Um, but for the purposes of the demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and open up the PDF to give you an idea of what it actually looks like. So now you'll notice we've got all the information in here that was initially specified during the registration of this particular child. And for a detailed roster list with more than one child, uh, you would see all the children listed uh, one right after another. Um, and that way you would have your information handy uh, as you travel. This information obviously can be printed up or it can be saved into your Dropbox or emailed to another individual, but it is in digital format, which makes it easily accessible. And we took things one step further and we actually created an attendance sheet. Um, so basically what this button here will do, will, it will generate an attendance sheet in a PDF format again. And we'll go ahead and open that up. And you'll notice it's just simply a checkbox um, and then a sign in uh, line here so the parent can sign in their child um, for this particular event. And that concludes this video tutorial on the various reporting options for WP permission slip. Thank you for watching.